chosen ones where you are. Chosen ones, you are separate. If you are a chosen one, you are not the same like others. All right? And chosen ones, if you don't separate yourself from the detractions of this world, right? Your goals, your dreams, your visions will be distracted. Therefore, chosen ones, you got to separate yourself from the detractions of this world. If not, your goals, your aims, your aspirations, your visions, your mission, the life that you are destined to live, the very life you are to live, will be distracted. There is the need for every chosen one to be ye separate. You got to separate yourself from detractions because this world is full of detractions. And when you focus on the detractions, you will go nowhere in this life as a chosen one. So there is the need for every chosen one to improve his focus. Stop blaming the detractions and improve on your focus. For nothing can stop a man who is focused. Nothing can stop a man who has a vision and he stay true to that vision, to that goal, to that aim, to that aspirations in life. Stop blaming detractions in this life. The circumstances, the situations surrounding you in your family, stop blaming such things. Stop blaming such things and take full total responsibility over your life as a chosen one. Learn to do things for yourself, to carry your own bucket of water, your own pot of water, because that will teach you to value the content, every drop of it as a chosen one. All right? So stop blaming people. I don't want to chosen ones to keep on blaming people, blaming circumstances, blaming witches, blaming wizard, blaming witchcraft, evil spirit, blaming, 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 and you forgetting about your vision in this life. Because these things are meant to happen. Our faith is definitely going to be tested. Your faith as a chosen one is definitely going to be tested. Bible says things that will cause us to stumble are born to happen in this life. That is why Bible says in um, John 16 verse 33 that in this world we are going to have troubles. You are going to have tribulations. But cheer up. He has overcome. He has said this to us so that in Him, we as chosen ones, we will have peace. In this world, we are going to have troubles. You are going to have tribulations, trials, calamities, things that will challenge your faith. But what is God saying? He says, we should not be troubled. We should cheer up for He has overcome for us. Right? Chosen ones, let's take our proof test from the book of First Peter chapter 2, all right? You got to be separate. You got to separate yourself from the detractions of this world and focus on your very life to improve yourself, all right? Great. So First Peter chapter 2. Um, verse 9, okay? First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are the chosen race, the king's priest, 
the holy nation, God's own people, chosen to proclaim the wonderful acts of God. Who called you out of darkness into his own marvelous light? Right, chosen one, you are a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. And we are called into his marvelous light. So we got to be separate from the detraction. What do I mean by the detraction? The darkness of this world. And let our light shine by focusing on things that are just, that are noble, that are honest, that are true. And let go of all things that are negative, negativity, things of low vibration. We got to let go of such things because such things are not going to help us grow. Such things are the detractions of the world that I'm talking of. As a chosen one, you got to know what you want in this life and focus on such things to get such things. To better your life, to better those around you, your family, your loved ones. And to support others if you have the means, if you can. That is what you are born to do. That is why you are chosen to do as a chosen one. But when you fall prey weak to the detractions, you will definitely lose focus and you will be going astray and you will be doing what everybody else is doing. If we are all doing what everybody else is doing, then why are we chosen then? Why are you chosen? You are chosen positions for the Lord's special attention. You are being ye separate. Alright? So things of darkness, you should not be participating in sad things. Things that will not draw you closer to your dreams, your visions, your aims, your aspirations. Quit seeds from sad things, shun away from sad things, and focus on things that are true. And what are some of these things that are true? The universal laws govern this universe, they are true. Align yourself with the things, with the universal laws that governs the universe. Align yourself with the things of God, right? Align yourself with things that are of faith, that are of love, that are of hope. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, that in this world, only three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these three is love. Love is the greatest. If you have all things, you can speak in tongues, you can speak in unknown language, you can heal the sick, you can sign some wonders following you and stuff. But you do not love. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 5 there, you are nothing without love. Right? Chosen ones, you are separate. Be separate. Do not conform to the things of this world. And do not let these things of the world draw you or separate you from God. Because as a chosen one, the challenges on you are too much and you cannot survive it without God. I am telling you, a chosen one, you cannot make it without God. It is only God 
that will see you through. So let nothing separate you from the love of God, from the things of God. Not even sickness, disease, affliction, poverty, misery, attacks, hate, not even sin, mistakes, errors. When you commit a mistake, a sin, don't run away from God. Run to God with a remorseful heart, a humble heart, a sincere heart, and seek for His guidance and forgiveness and get back on track. Because you as a chosen one, nothing is going to separate you. Your seat, your position is already there. Your seat is there. And nobody can occupy that seat as a chosen one. So nothing separates you. But when you let the things of this world, the detractions of this world, pulls you away afar from God, your seat will be there and you will be somewhere doing something else. That is why anytime we commit a mistake, an error, a sin, we should draw to God, our Maker. He said, Come to me, all ye who are heavy loaded and burdened, and I, the Lord, will give you rest. Come and taste, drink from this living water, and whoever drinks from this living water will never taste again. Right? That is God for you. He loves us. He's always with us. He's always guiding his chosen ones. Because he is not a man that will lie. He doesn't miscall. He doesn't mischosen. He doesn't misjudge. He doesn't mishandle. He doesn't mistreat. That is God for you. He is God all by himself. From beginning to the end. He is God all by himself. Chosen ones, be ye separate. Be separate, all right? And focus on your goals in life. And forget about the things that will not help you achieve, fulfill your destiny in this life. Thank you, chosen ones. Thank you for watching this. I believe you are blessed. God has spoken to your heart. Stay true to God and God will forever stay true to you. Right? Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this message. I'm our chosen one. Stay blessed.